Hey, Bill Applegate here. Today I'm going to do a lesson on jazz solo number two. It's going to be a pretty straightforward lesson. First I'm going to play through the solo. Then I'm going to go through it and show you how I came up with my ideas. And I think it's a fun little solo, so I hope you enjoy it. Okay, the first major is just based on an F major 7 arpeggio. 1, 7, 1, 7, 5, 3, 1, 7. Then we're going to use the Lydian dominant on, on the flat 7. Okay, the back door dominant sometimes it's called. So it's basically a B flat arm, a melodic minor. minor 7 we just have a straight ahead A minor 7 arpeggio on the D7 flat 9 I'm using the fifth uh, the G harmonic minor starting on the fifth scale grade it really outlines that chord nicely so that has that gives you the flat nine and the flat thirteen. It's the same as a D seven mixolydian with the flat nine and a flat thirteen. So, uh, chromatic passing tone down to the G minor. All within the G minor seven arpeggio. Okay, now we're back to the Lydian dominant back door the, um, based on the flat seventh. So we're using, the, like I said, the B-flat melodic minor. So here I'm using this pattern. And I do kind of a sequence and move up to this pattern. Okay, on this F major 7, I'm using an A minor 7. I'm substituting an A minor 7 arpeggio on the first two beats. And then I'm doing an enclosure over, around the 7th. And on D minor 7, I'm doing an enclosure around the 7th hustle. And then around the 3rd. Okay, and then I'm going to use just a... What here I'm doing here is using... A, I'm substituting a B flat major 7 arpeggio over the G minor 7. Octave still all all of that is in the G Dorian. So okay, I went to the A there, which kind of can resolve to the B flat for the E minor seven flat five. Just using uh, an F major scale, starting on the seven scales degree to de to develop that little arp, that little phrase. So the B, B flat is the fifth. Five, four, three, one. And that comes out of the uh, five of the D harmonic minor. Which 
Chaco gives you this flat 13, right? Flat 13 and flat 9. Then just a D Dorian. Actually, that's all uh, chord tones there. G, like G mixolydian, so we're basically a 2 5 in C. But then we don't go to C, we go to the 2 5 in it at the notes. That notes the 13th. All, our, all chord tones. That's the 9th. Okay, moving on, back to the F major 7. So I did kind of a sequence. I only had to change one note to make it the Lydian dominant from the F major. Okay, another A minor 7 arpeggio. Couldn't be more direct, huh? Here I use a, dim a diminished arpeggio. But it still comes out of this. Harmonic minor, okay. Then a G Dorian. Some octaves there, but still in the G Dorian. Now the same. I just had to change the one note to make it a Lydian dominant. Okay, F major seven. Seven. That's a chromatic passing tone there, the C sharp. Okay, B minor seven flat five. What I did was uh, since the D minor triad is inside that, I just use that kind of. Okay, then uh, E seven flat nine. You're going to use the fifth scale to. The A harmonic minor starting on the fifth scale degree. Okay. And this is just three, six, two, five, one in F. So, uh, target chord tones. But all in an F scale. more than targeted chord tones. I only played chord tones there, so. Uh, just a G minor seven to like a C 13, nine one there on top. As you can see, the solo uh, use a lot of just the one, three, five, seven chord tones from a lot of the scales, so you can really make nice solos mainly using those. Okay. I hope this will help you get get through get through this, and let me play it for you one more time. Okay, that was jazz solo number two. I hope it's something you can use. I, I really enjoyed putting it together and I think it came out, out pretty nice. So I hope it, uh, you have fun with it.
and have a great day.